Hey everybody, it's Carrie. It's been a while since I've done a uh, hotel room, uh, what do we call these, Facebook Lives. I think my favorite one that you guys loved was uh, when I lost my hotel room key at like 10 o'clock at night for the fourth time and I kept going down to the um, front desk lady and then asking her for another key because she'd give me a key but then it didn't have a room, room number on it. Uh, so I'm here, I'm in Minnesota. I probably shouldn't give the exact address of where I am. I don't think, hi Cindy, um, hi Liz. I don't think I'm famous enough to have stalkers that would come to my hotel, but maybe I'd be flattered, but I don't know. It's just been on my heart to share tonight. I did comedy for, um, a really amazing girl, um, and what she's doing. And her name is Angie. Angie Platt and her family is from Minnesota and they felt a call to literally go over to Thailand and rescue girls from slavery and sex trafficking. And I know that we hear that word all the time, sex trafficking, sex trafficking. And it's getting to the point where it's politically correct to say sex trafficking, like sexual assault. But what really is happening I'm a mom of two daughters, and she's sharing these stories about six-year-old girls and four-year-old girls that are literally chained up and raped. And it's hard for me to even say those words out loud. It's hard for me to say that there's a four-year-old girl right now that is being raped, not sexually assaulted, not sexually trafficked. She was taken from her family. Her family was lied to. And they put a chain around her neck and they raped her every hour on the hour, 10 to 20 times a night. And Angie and her family have moved their entire lives over there. And they work with this um, organization called SWAT. And they have ex-military tactics to go in there and physically rescue these girls physically rescue these girls and I know we hear about this in our country but the country of Thailand's government not only is not doing anything about it they're condoning it because they're making money they are making money with children being raped and the way that she shared from her heart tonight was something that I will never be able to unhear I will never be able to just scroll through another Facebook post again and say okay there's a face of you know there's sex trafficking, and then I want to see, I like my friend's new haircut. I hope that this stays with me. I hope that I'm forever changed. And I just want to encourage anybody that's watching right now to find something and some way to help what's going on. Angie, um, she has a website, Angie Platt. I think it's, um, and God said go.com. And uh, I became you know, tonight a monthly supporter of hers, my friend Janine, who was in Thailand, told me about her. And it's not that I'm doing this video so you can all jump on Angie's website, which would be great if you did that. But as a comedian, I have a voice. And yes, it's really delightful to have to tell jokes. Um, thank God they took an intermission. There's amazing organizations. There's another one in LA that I support. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, Sean. Hi, Siobhan. Um, hi, Stacy. Hi, Scott. There's another organization that I support called Forgotten Children. And there's a million organizations that are out there doing something. But if we just sort of nod at them and smile and go, oh, I love what you're doing. Here's $5. We could be doing so much more. And Angie's website is up here. And GodSaidGo.com. She's not like this mission-minded person. We share burgers together. She's awesome. She has tattoos and she likes manicures and she has cool hair. But she's living in Thailand and she's rescuing children, you guys. These aren't, you know, teenage girls that ran away from home and decided that they wanted to become prostitutes. These are children that were stolen out of their families' homes. These are children as young, you guys, I am not kidding you, as 18 months old. 18 months old. Yes, Angie, you do have really cool hair. That hit me harder than anything has ever hit me. I'm a six-year-old daughter. You all have young girls in your life, and it's young boys. 
So if I have a voice because I came on Facebook Live and somebody turned on because it was me and you heard this, now you can't unhear it and you have to do what God is telling you to do. Maybe it's prayer. Maybe you've never prayed before. Will you please pray for the children that are enslaved in this terrible, terrible demonic activity? Will you please commit to praying for my friend Angie Platt, who's doing it day in and day out. Tuesday, she flies back to Thailand. She has a three-year-old daughter. And she said to me, what would I not do for my three-year-old daughter? What would I not do? And I'm Italian. Listen, I, I get it. And um, just to lighten the mood a little bit, I was going to wear high heels for my show tonight because I want my audiences to always feel like I try for them and I care about you guys. But instead, I wore my um, Skechers memory foam. I don't think you can see them, but they're pretty awesome. So then I felt like, you know what? I love my audiences. I want to be glamorous. I'm going to wear false eyelashes. So as you can tell, I, I put on these very glamorous Hollywood false eyelashes. Well, Angie starts talking about Thailand and children being enslaved. What happens? My eyelashes start going down my face, like literally down my nose. So then I have to go on stage with probably one eyelash was like here um, for part of the show. So that goes to show you I have third world problems, definitely third world problems. Um, I don't vocally support a lot of formal charities. I've been doing this for 13 years and I've been asked a million times. This is the second one, I think, in 13 years that I felt passionately to use my voice for. You guys, we all have a voice. We all have a voice to talk about the things that matter to us. And I just know that prayer matters. And I know that prayer can make a difference. And I know that money can make a difference. So if it's not Angie, I just encourage you to ask God where you can give and where you can make a difference. If you can't go, you can support someone that's willing to go. Hey, TJ, my missionary friend. Um, there's just too many things. I can save all my money and I can have a really strong portfolio. And when I get to heaven, none of that's going to matter that I died with a strong 401k plan. God's going to say, what did you do with the gifts that I gave you? So I hope that this has meant something. If I can get one person to think differently about a cause that matters and think differently about the word sex trafficking and sexual assault because we all have kids. And I think it's just, thanks Scott, thanks everybody. Sex trafficking, it doesn't mean anything anymore. It's like, oh, I support sex trafficking. That means that children are being stolen from their homes and they're being tortured and they're being chained up and they're being raped 10 to 20 times a night. That's the truth. That's the fact. It's happening here in America. It's happening in Thailand where the government makes money about it. It's happening in India. It's happening every single place that we can think of. So as we go to bed tonight, Cambodia, yeah, that's huge in Cambodia. Maybe you could share this video with somebody Maybe we didn't know all the facts. It's not something that we need to feel bad about or guilty. I just think that someday we're all going to face Jesus in the face. And he's going to say, what did you do with the knowledge that you had? And I want to teach my kids that I left a legacy that was more than money for them in the bank. Although I do strongly encourage my parents to get a very large life insurance policy. I mean, I hope they live to be 100. But Barb, Dick, if you're listening, I mean, I'm willing to pay the premiums. Um, but <laughs> so I love Minnesota. I had a Culver's burger, loved it. Fantastic. I'm heading out to Palm Springs tomorrow and in April. Hi, Linda. I'm doing a lot of crazy traveling. Pray for me. Pray for my daughters. We're going through some battles of our own. Nothing compared to what I'm talking about tonight, but I could really use your prayers. April is going to be a crazy, crazy travel month. And, um, Ruby was in the spelling bee today. And the teacher said that she spelled about 10 to 15 words. And then she had like a mic drop. And then she's like, booyah, I'm out. So I don't know if that means she disqualified herself or she just wasn't having it anymore or the words got too big for her. 
But um, I'm really psyched that my little munchkin Ruby was crushing it in the spelling bee today and Lucy. And um, my friend Jonathan C. Embody, I-M-B-O-D-Y, if you guys want to look him up on Facebook, he's an advocate in Washington, D.C., and he's fighting a really big fight for us. And Jonathan, I really appreciate um, all you do to save lives. You do um, battle in a really tough battleground. And my friend T.J. Rodriguez and so many people that I'm seeing are signing on to watch this video. Um, I love you guys, and as a comedian, sometimes it just feels like, you know, what do I do? I go out and I tell jokes, but we have to laugh. I think that's warfare. I think laughter in this day and age when there's so much not to laugh about is, is healing. And, um, you know, I hope you guys have a good night, and I love you. And, um, yeah, I guess unless anybody else has any questions, um, I'm going to keep supporting this cause. I'm going to keep talking about it. And uh, I just would like you all to know that I found my room key with one try tonight. And I came back to the Holiday Inn Express. And um, I ordered a Mediterranean platter, which probably isn't like the best choice in Minnesota. I think the hummus was actually cream cheese. No offense, Angie. But um, I don't think it was hummus in the classical sense. Let's just say, hey, Jordan. And uh, I don't know what else has been going on with me. I've been dealing with my neck. You could pray for my neck. I've had this neck and back thing. And I went to a back specialist the other day. And he didn't heal me, but he gave me a prescription for Valium. Uh, that's exciting. So now a lot of my friends are wanting to come over to my house and just hang out. Uh, so I'm keeping a close watch on my, my new, my new little pill bottle that he gave me. Apparently in LA, you can get Valium for like a runny nose. Hey, Deborah. Um, oh yes, Deborah, your singing is amazing. Hey, Cammy. Um, so thanks for supporting laughter. Thanks for supporting me. Thanks for supporting Angie. Once again, her website is, uh, I know she posted it. I think it's andgodsaidgo.com. It's on the comments. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Cindy. Thanks, all the people. Um, hi, Delania. I wish I could help you with your car, but you're home safe and sound. Valium, Delania, Valium. I didn't see you want to come over now. You want some of my hookup. I'm like a dealer. Hi, Grace. I got, uh, what do I have at my house right now? I have Flexerol. I probably shouldn't be saying this publicly. Hi, Linda. If I tell you all the drugs I have in my house, because doctors give me drugs and I don't take them. I'm not like a really good drug addict. So I think I should just save them up and like, you know, deal them to my, to my friends. And whoever has like the most convincing case will get first dibs. Um, well, I guess I'm going to wrap things up. I'm going to try to watch some Golden Girls. Darn it, Scott. I didn't even know that they had... What... Okay, seriously, what are cheese curds? Aren't cheese curds like real cheese? And if it's a fast food restaurant, would they fry them? Because I don't know if I want fried. I don't know if I want fried cheese curds, do I? I mean, I'll try anything. I would put Culver's Burgers up against, maybe not up against for sure in and out Like, I don't think it would win or fat burger, but it was a good, solid burger. Yes, and I've, I've been on a specific diet lately. It's called the It's Winter and I Don't Really Care Diet. It's working remarkably. Um, Scott, do they fry them? Do they fry the cheese curds? I'm all about fried. I just don't know if I want fried cheese. It sounds like something I would order at Applebee's. Linda... Do we have call? Is there a call? Where are is Culver's just in the Midwest? All right, Scott. I'll try it next time. So tomorrow I have a f in and out is the bomb. Andy, Andy, I tried to call you. You guys, Andy Kozell, one of my favorite comedians. Follow him on Instagram, Andy Kozell. He's very funny. Very funny. Um, Andy, I tried to call you the other day. Did you get my voicemail? And now you're watching my Facebook Live. 
that doesn't count as calling me back. Happy birthday, Cammie. Happy belated. All right, you guys, so I've got a long day tomorrow. I'm going to hope I can fall, some, fall asleep. Um, I did not bring Valium to take in the hotel because I kind of feel like it would be a gateway thing, and I'd be like, it all started with the Valium, and now I take heroin to go to sleep. Um, isn't that what happened to John Belushi? So, um, no drugs tonight, just Golden Girls. Uh, and I hope that we all have a great... Hi, Josh. I keep wanting to um, hang up and say goodnight, and then my friends keep signing on the video. You guys are up late. I don't know how I'm going to sleep because I'm on California time. This Facebook Live thing is kind of fantastic. I've got friends on here, like Josh, that I've known since I was 11 years old. This is pretty awesome. Josh, is your daughter still doing theater? Is she still doing Dearborn Youth Theater? And by the way, the thing about Facebook Lives is so great is you can hang up at any point when it gets boring. And I just... Andy, you're such a liar. Do you say that to all the girls? Andy, I'm going to call you tonight. I need to talk business with you. I have like a business proposal. I need to talk to you. Josh, are you, yeah, you are a man of the law. Am I not mistaken? You have like a, Josh Buncey, you have like a grown-up job. I, that's what happens to my childhood friends. Um, Andy, write me a comment back if you're available to talk in a few minutes. I need to talk to you about something. Hi, Dia D. Oh, it's your son. Josh, I'm sorry about that. It was your son, the one you stayed up all night to get in Little League for. Andy, how could you not have so many girls after all those sexy Instagram posts? Oh, Josh, you're a, I, knew you, I knew you were a fireman. See, I follow you on Facebook. And you, you sat in a lawn chair all night long. I just got a private message from a friend. I'll, I'll have to read that. Andy, by the way, you guys, all everyone should follow Andy Cozell on Instagram. He's a sexy beast. Oh, Josh, that sucks. Blake, oh my gosh, you guys, my favorite pastor just signed on. Hi, Blake. Blake, go back and watch the beginning of my message. This part's boring. I love you guys. If you guys ever need a church um, in Alabama, go to the well. It's my favorite. Hi, Celeste. Okay, Andy, I'm calling you. Um, you guys have a great... Andy, I'm serious. I'm calling you in like two seconds. Have a great night. Blake, love you guys. Please have my well family pray for me this weekend. I'm looking for my uh, way to come to a retreat. And Blake, I'm definitely in a dieting phase where I can have Oreos as much as I want. God said, like, have at it. I think that was the word. Have at it. Good night, Scott. You guys have a great night. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks, Blake. Bye.